new videos every day. Do you find yourself able to sleep three to six hours and wake up feeling refreshed? Or are you somebody who's more like a bear and you sleep nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hours and you wake up exhausted and still grumpy and feel like you're not getting enough sleep? In the first scenario, you might think that that's a sleep problem, that you only need four, five, six hours sleep. That's not a problem. That's just your personality. You inherited a gift. You're just out of sync with society today <laughs> and the way we run. If you're a person though, that is sleeping all through the night and sleeping 10, 11, 12 hours, you may be hibernating like a bear but have a serious sleep problem because you're not going to REM sleep. So you're not getting good restorative sleep. If you can sleep a few hours and you're refreshed and you get enough REM sleep, then you are getting good restorative sleep. If not, you're gonna have problems all day and always feel like you're not getting enough sleep, no matter how heavy you sleep. We're gonna to talk today more about a brief overview of sleep and then especially how music can help or inhibit good restorative sleep for you. My name is Hope Young and I am the owner of the Center for Music Therapy in Austin, Texas. We do workshops here with Dr. Doug Hudson and with Sleep Medicine Consultants. And um, he talks, he's a sleep specialist, and he talks about the diverse and many reasons people have sleep issues. And then also the different uh, treatments and interventions you can use, lifestyle changes you can make to help you get better restorative sleep. My purpose in the workshops is to talk about music because in the large music healing industry one of the main marketed products out there is music for sleep music to help you sleep listen to this CD and you will sleep but as I've said in previous videos there is no product you can buy that's music that's going to guarantee you that you're going to sleep or that your anxiety is going to go away or that your pain is going to go away or that you're going to be a more emotionally healthy balanced person the first and foremost important characteristic is that you like the music but there are some general rules and uh, that are not to be broken if you want to sleep one of the first ones is don't listen to music all through the night don't let it play no matter how chilling it you know just makes you feel good when you're awake turn it off because it's going to keep pulling you back to an alert state and your mind's not going to go into the deeper rem and the rem sleep is what is so key to having restorative and refreshing and, and a good sleep pattern so general not to be broken number one is if you're going to sleep to music make sure it shuts off automatically if you have music going more than 40, 50, 60 minutes, it's just going to pull you back awake once you fall asleep. So automatic timers, a CD, <laughs> there is no such thing as a YouTube clip that goes 60 minutes or 40 minutes, but something that will shut off. If you haven't gone to sleep by that time, then you need to get out of bed, get up and do something somewhere else, reading bringing your body temperature down, all the other type of um, tricks of the trade that a sleep medicine consultant will teach you or a sleep specialist will advise for you into helping your body get um, ready to go to sleep. With music that you want to use to help you induce sleep, another rule is that it has minimal beat or rhythm. The rhythm whether you're aware of it and conscious of it or not, is always preparing your muscles for movement. And as you know in sleep, you don't want to be kicking and thrashing and marching around your bed. So, or having your muscles even think or your body preparing for movement. So the less distinct rhythm you have, the more likely that you're going to have a nice induction into sleep. Third rule is volume, stops and starts. You want minimal volume changes and you want minimal stops and starts. So if there is a stop and start to music, it needs to be so, so indistinct that you hardly would notice it, that it would be more like a rest than an actual stop. Volume changes need to be extremely gradual and very minimalistic in how loud or how soft the music goes. These are some of the main characteristics in music that you look for, again, 
for sleep induction. This is the music that you actually want to listen to as you're intending to fall asleep. If you're thinking of music that's preparing you a few hours before bedtime to relax and get the stress out of your system, that's different. But the music that you want on while you're laying down and actually intending to go to sleep needs to follow those characteristics. So again, music needs to be set so it will go off. So once you've gone to sleep, you won't be hearing it any longer. Second is that you want minimal rhythm. Otherwise, sustained tones. As much as you can find music that has some sustained tones, arpeggiated patterns that sound da 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 da, da things like that. Um, volume, that it's even and gradual volume changes. No sudden volume changes. And as well as the last one, no sudden starts or stops in the music. All of those things will bring your brain up to a certain level of alertness that we don't want it to be at because we want it to be going into a deeper sleep pattern and again, inducing you into sleep that will then take you into REM. All right, so those are some of the general universal rules. And with the preface of always remembering a music therapist, number one rule in using music for your health and your well-being is you must like the music. If somebody's giving you a CD and they said it works great for me, and I love this CD, you're gonna love it, and everybody says this is the best sleep music ever, it means nothing if you put it on and you just don't like it. It's not gonna work. The music you've been listening today is music that was composed here at the Center for Music Therapy, and you can go to our website, www.centerformusictherapy.com, to listen uh, to a sample of that or purchase it. It's not for sale in the general market. It was specifically composed here for use only with our patients needing, who are needing stress and anxiety or pain management and then also some sleep. It's very simplistic, but it is new music. And um, oftentimes when you're looking for music to help you sleep, you want something you've never heard before and will not bring up any other past associations. So thank you for listening to this video and watching us today. We hope that you enjoyed it. And we ask you to leave comments and questions. Um, and if you like this video, please share it with others. Give us a thumbs up and go to psychetruth.com for more videos on this topic and others.